Hello, it's another sleepless night in Austin, Texas, which means it's time to do a playthrough and commentary of Shelter 2. It's kind of a nice game. I really like the ambiance, the artwork, the gameplay. Well, <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's got a lot of cool things about it. There's just so many times you're going to be able to play this game. Well, I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those relaxing games that you might come back to from time to time. It has some interesting things that can draw you back. One of which is the wonderful family tree um, feature. This is uh, how you start over. <laughs> Game's the same every time you play it, but you get to name four new cubs. Apparently, all lynxes are born female in this line. <laughs> This is like, if all lynxes were like these gals, um, it's like there's some kind of acid inside of them that just destroys male sperm. It's only the female sperm <laughs> ever get. But anyway, uh, watch one of these. I never have bothered to figure out. I bet Goldie's the gold one. Which one of these names goes with what? So we'll just pick played the first one before. Start a new game. Yes. Note that even being recorded, this thing cranks out at pretty close to 60 FPS, no matter what. Well, maybe not. Uh, you can't fast forward through any of the intro. That's a problem. Yep. 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 Can't fast forward through this either. The intro basically serves as a sort of training. It's like, right now, I can't run, I can't jump, I can't do anything. And every time you start the game again, this is how you start. Apparently I picked the orange kitty. Shift space, and there we go. Hold shift down and you run, space makes you jump. I like the way the cat leans into turns, uh, like a lot of games. If he goes up a hill sideways, he points out to the side. It's just one of those things that happens in video games. I often wonder, you know, whoops, that did not jump. I often wonder um, what it would be like to build a video game whose main purpose was realistic movement. <laughs> Hold the space bar and be free. Yep, all done. So I'm not even holding down the mouse now, or key. And you will always do that. Always. Each generation. And you will always do this. Each generation. So just hold shift down and run. Let's see if we can find. Uh, yeah. So yeah, see, walking sideways, little cat just kind of sticks out perpendicular to the surface of the earth. Uh, the other solution I've seen to that in some video games is uh, you sink your uphill foot into the earth and your downhill foot hovers in the air. Uh, what would happen if somebody actually sat down and figured out how to alter the posture of figures <laughs> depending on the terrain? I don't know, but it would look cool. But one of the things about this game, and it's kind of Minecraft-esque to me, is they didn't spend a whole ton of time trying to be photorealistic, and it pays off because it's gorgeous. 
this little kind of almost impressionistic type of landscape where you know, those are meant to represent leaves, but they're not leaves. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really pretty game. That's one of the things that's soothing the music. I can't complain too much about it. I've played quite some hours. <laughs> Possibly. I'm going to try and do the circuit. The circuit. Uh, because there are multiple maps. You can't fast forward through this either. Of course, if you're a girl, you don't want to, but as a dude who's played this game five times. <laughs> I was watching a High Heart Cupquake. Oh, she just goo gooed over these cats. Did they do, like, live capture of the cats? Because it is pretty cool movement. <laughs> you just see them sticking little lights on cats and kittens. <laughs> oh, well. So, might as well. So, here is... Um, that's going to be orange. Ova is going to be... Fit for white. Maybe Vita for life and white. Uh, Vavi. What's a good name for black cat? Uh, Jet. And Solda is... Uh, I don't know. Roxy. <laughs> Not Rocky. <laughs> Roxy. Uh, the only Roxy I know actually is Redhead, but we've already got Neuron for that. So, here we go. And that's the last time you'll ever see those names, because they... Y'all keep an eye on the FPS. I just, I keep not watching it. 45, 47, 40 something. Bearing in mind that the screen recorder eats up five of those at least, I think, if not ten. I honestly believe this thing would just peak out at pretty close to 60 all the time. Though. So, right click gives you this little ooh, rabbit. <laughs> it's like Predator. Whoa, come back here, you. Who told you you were allowed to run away? Get back over here! Get, 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 get! Ah! You don't even have to hold a button down. If you ever catch the thing, you pick it up. Left click, drop it. Right. Left click again to pick it up. If you right click, you'll eat it. But, uh, oddly, Mama Cat never needs to eat. <laughs> Mama Cat can go her entire life without eating in this game. Not sure why. So that's a little awkward looking animation but not a big surprise. That's typical. Wow, there's not a rabbit to be found. Oh, there's one. Uh, where is it? Right there, right there, right there. Get it! Ah, yeah! And back home with ya. The little circular thing on the bottom left is the cat's energy level. And once it gets to a certain minimum, it just sits there. There's your cats. Two foods brings about spring. Cats get too big and you have to have a rabbit for every two of them instead of all four of them eating one rabbit. There's spring. Spring comes in a big hurry in this game. Look at the sun. <laughs> hey, hey, come back here. What are you? What are you? I don't even think you're a rabbit. Yes, you are a rabbit. Um, if 
you hit C, you get this thing. That's uh, 91 rabbit skulls, <laughs> 15 deer skulls, and then all these things that you find. And at some point when you get these things that you find, I don't know if something happens. Because as you can see, I'm not anywhere close <laughs> to getting them all. <laughs> But anyway, you hit C again, that goes away. This is the map. M for map. I'm the map. I'm the map. So if you ever kill yourself off, you lose your memory, and you won't be able to tell what all you found. This is, uh... The Snowflake is a area that's got plenty of food but wolves, and the mountainous area thing on the bottom left there is a place it has kind of like less food but it's got deer so if you stick here like you'll see the very last litter of kittens I had uh, all four survived because I just stayed here and just ate rabbits so it's almost like difficulty settings like if you go to the mountains at the bottom left it's a little harder and then if you go to the snowflake at the top why then things are interesting because of the wolves. At least that's my best take on it. Uh, oh, I passed you right up, didn't I? You eventually learn how to kind of control the camera angle. See, there's the... See how he, he rubs it with his noggin to pick it up? <laughs> Get that one. Uh, this is the game. It, it does this every time. It's like, did I just show you C? Yes, I already know what C means. I've played this game five times now. I tell you five times already! Uh, whoa! Ooh, sweet. So, uh, this could be interesting. White. See, those two will eat, and then you have to catch one for orange. And because I'm doing commentary, I'm probably going to forget, and one of them's going to star, and that's just going to be too bad. What I'm going to do is make the circuit. So when you hit that thing, not only can you see rabbits, but you can also see where you're going. So the snowflake must be over there, yeah. So we're going to head off to the forest. And, uh... See right there where the circle's at now, that's that's where it stays, whether you eat or not. There's just no point in Mama Rabbit, uh, uh, Mama Link's eating. Uh, oh, you little mustard. Yeah, I cannot remember which way. Uh-oh, is White Cat already lost? There's White Cat. notice me just leaving that skull behind because I don't care. It's funny, it's like the, the rabbit skulls and the deer skulls just don't count for anything <laughs> that I know of. Where are the more rabbits? Where are the more? There's one way out there. Oh, here we go, here we go. Now you're talking rabbits. Now we're talking rabbits. We're done. Wow, I actually missed all the rabbits. I'm gonna end up missing all the rabbits. Come on, come on, come on! Wow. <laughs> Incompetent rabbit catcher. This is what causes kittens to starve. Lots of running and not much food. So that worked out poorly. Let's go over here to this big giant group of rabbits and maybe we'll get two of them. Because that's just too many rabbits. Get it! Ow! Ow! Gotcha. Yeah, that's the screen transition. This is malfunctioning. Not sure if that's just Linux or what, but I can be down to one kitten and that'd still show four. So here's map. Now we are in the forest. Here we are. We came up. See the cat symbol on the left-hand side there? We came from the single tree, which is home. And we are heading towards... Uh, snowflake land. Um, 
big giant lake in the middle. I don't know what all of these symbols mean, but we're gonna just sort of explore, you know. Just sort of explore. Is there anything? Yeah, we'll head towards that. If you go to the north side of the lake, there's a bunch of frogs, which is kind of fun. So we'll go look at the frogs. Is there anything in the universe to eat? Come on, you're going to starve my cats. You're going to starve my cats. I hate it when that happens. If you stay in the original uh, landscape, some weird fog comes across the land, and there's weird music, and it's basically the only danger. And the little cat gets all... One of, one of your cats at random will get scared, and, uh, and it'll die if you don't pick it up and put it back down so it'll follow you. You'll lose that cat. Uh, no reason to lose your cat like that. Just pick it up, put it back down. Here's that special effect <laughs> that, uh, I'm walking sideways, uh, sticking off the side of the hill like a big old hairball, or, yeah, hairball. Hair, just an actual barb. A barb, that's what I meant. See the rabbit. One stupid rabbit. Are you kidding me? I don't even remember who I'm supposed to feed. Dun, da, 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 da. Pop goes the kitty. Oh, you little bustard. Oh, man, did I ever miss that one. And yeah. All right, cats. You'll notice that they always line up in the same pattern. So if you can ever remember which one you're supposed to feed, <laughs> it works. But I forget. I forget. I forget. I forget. Got to run, run like the wind, to be free again. And I've got such a long way to go to make it to the border of Mexico. So I catch Ooh. white rabbits. Catch white rabbits. Yep, that's what I do. Does anybody remember which one I fed last time? Oh, look, you can see the two had blood on their nose. That was helpful. Uh, this is kind of dry over here. I don't know how it ended up dry. This is supposed to be my... Look at it. It's right next to a freaking lake. Here, here. Oh, this is, this is a perfect example. Yes, yes. I know. I can drink water. See, look at him drink water out of the... Look at the cats going... <laughs> They're going swimming. They don't die, don't worry. Um, yeah, so you walk along, sticking out sideways. I've griped about that plenty enough for one lifetime, I suppose. Somewhere over here should be the frogs, I thought. Maybe not. Ooh, 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 ooh. The cats, that's a little egg thing. So if you see those, just let them eat. They all eat. It's great. You gotta love it. Mm, oh, another one. Holy mackerel, I don't guess I've ever found, like, two of them before. Hey, Dorpas, where are you? Suck eggs, you little egg suckers. I'm gonna rest. There, that's that's a problem. Oh, that's the lake still, I guess we we'll, yeah. Okay. So was I wrong about the frogs or are the frogs around the corner over here? I have yet to see one of the collectibles. There's a rabbit. Cook! Cook! Where's my lunch? Where's my dinner? Running faster than me, damn it. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh, you, oh, idiot. No, I'll just get this one. There we go. Now there will be... Oh, look at him. Uh, line up. Uh, you guys. Maybe that's the swamp. Those look like swamp trees, don't they? So yeah, there was a dry grass with bird eggs. And now, oh, that is some rabbitness right there. I should be able to... Oh, well, you guys kind of darted a little early, didn't you? are like after me and stuff. Commentary. I tell you, my perfect game would be Dwarf Fortress with graphics. And these kind of graphics would be fine. And then, you know, like Minecraft had the townspeople, but the townspeople are incapable of any sort of rational thought. Um, if you've ever played Dwarf Fortress, why, <laughs> the townspeople, it's like playing an almost all-text version of, I, I, I know how to eat, thank you, appreciate your concern. Dwarf Fortress is almost like an almost all-text version of The Sims. And what I would like would be a first-person vantage point of... And then, like, you establish your town, and you're, like, instead of always looking at an overhead map, you'd have, like, your office. And you could draw the map, and then you could go out and meet people and talk to them and find out all that stuff that in Dwarf Fortress you kind of just look in their heads. Um, point being, these kind of graphics um, work for a lot of stuff. This game would be so much better if there was any actual survival. I mean, all it is is feed the kittens. You you don't have to eat. I don't know if there's a, any kind of update. I would also love to be able to play different animals. Where is the snowflake? I oh there it is over there. Come on, guys. What are you waiting on? Ah, another one. Wow! <laughs> play falcons, play eagles, play... Play the rabbit! <laughs> Be the rabbit! Be the rabbit, Danny. Uh, wow! Yeah! Oh, there's a bird's nest in a tree. See the little owl? There's two owls. I guess that's what the symbol is. Yeah, see the little owl symbol? That's the first time I've actually... Oh, look, I passed the frogs up. Middle of the screen, a little bit to the top. The little funky symbol to the right of the fallen tree. Those are bound to be the frogs. I just walked right by them. But anyway. Snot sucking. Uh, who's missing? There you are. Uh, whoop. Yeah, I know. I saw this. And see, this is, this is one of the annoying things about the game. And you can't bypass it. So you click the button to shake it. And then... Up! Look, there's a little feather. Feather. Yeah. And rock this tree. Apparently. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna guess. There really should be an owl in this tree, but I don't think there is. Oh yeah. Sure there is. <laughs> that ought to make little kitties happy. And with that joyous noise, we will walk into H-E-Double Hockey Stick.